Oh, you guys beating that dude up? You just kicked him up. That was like a cartoon. Like, he basically kicked his feet and he just like... <laughs> what, what just happened to that guy? He just crumbled over. <laughs> Somebody check that guy, dude. He, he, he fell down in a way that a human should not fall down normally, man. What is going on, everybody? Welcome to Insomnia, the Ark. I'm your host, the Bergman Otis Falcon. This right here is a game that's been under development for about eight years, if I remember correctly here. I first heard about this maybe two years ago. I got an early concept build of the game sent my way. I checked it out, it looked very promising. This is a throwback to old school RPGs such as Fallout, 1 and 2, Wasteland, things of that nature right there. Uh, that being said, we have the option of either jumping into Prologue or New Game for this one. I'm going to go into Prologue because Prologue gives us more action quicker than starting a new game. The more I'm watching this rattlebrain triumph of strength and industry erected by consumptives, the more I miss the reservation's stinking tunnels. The feeling of ever-eluding dead end inspires me, same way as the poor fools of Herb are inspired by the idea of this long journey reaching its goal someday, and all of us starting a new life on a new planet. Any smeared corridor in the dump is way more reliable than this new home fable. At least you can lean against the wall there if you're shot. That's our difference from the herbborn. We don't waste time contemplating the stars. But we can tell fortunes by the mud under our feet. Alrighty, so approach the cat terminal. Let's put that drink away, my man. We gotta pick up a phone here. Very nice looking phone, too. It's a kitty cat. Answer the phone. Typer, how's life treating you, buddy? You call to ask about my well-being, or I've never been better? Never been better, dude. Oh, really? So what about that lovely thing on your face, then? Let's get down to business. I'm sure you didn't just remember me out of the blue and decided to come say hi. I see you're eager to get back in the game, so... What was I... Ah, right. I need a nice, strong lad for an important assignment. Interested? I guess I could go for a little walk. Great. So here's the deal. I'll keep it short and sweet. I need you to deliver some valuable cargo to the perimeter. Old man has still be waiting for you in the pharmacy. Get the container from him and deliver it to Commissioner Farka. Hastir will fill you in the rest of the details. Um, the perimeter is well secured. Um, how would this work exactly? Hastir doesn't ring a bell, so you're working with Herb Customs now. So there's obviously like a bunch of things I could select here for more history and everything. But as I mentioned, time limited with the video, I want to show you action. So, let's go over here. Never mind, I get it. I've always admired your intelligence. I'll get in touch when I know that the delivery has been made. And don't worry, you'll get your pay. Good luck, buddy. Alrighty. So we're back to business. Apparently, whatever this thing on my face is, it's some sort of like punishment type of like system. I think if I do bad, this probably blows up, which is um, probably no good, especially considering it's attached to my head. Let's go to my journal here. Back to business. Broker told me to find Hastir, who will give me a package and further instructions. The old smuggler is waiting for me near the pharmacy. You got it. Okay, so it's time for us to go. I believe if I read correctly, this game was originally going to be an isometric game. So, um... Then it got kind of like switched somewhere in development, but um, it was going to be even be more of a love letter to games like, you know, Fallout, as I mentioned. But we went with the third person perspective instead. Approach the locker and take your things. All right. So this is going to be right here. here. Yep. Okay. Right. So we got ourselves the Typer Sword. That is me. And a mercenary jacket. And some bronze. I believe that's to heal up if I'm correct. So let's collect everything over here and equip some stuff. Can we just double click? Yes, we can. Double click away. And you probably yeah, this will be my HP. Let's put you down. Throw over here. What is this? A comet crick. A left click to hit the target. That target's a human though. I don't want to hit him. Can I just hit this over here? Yeah, I guess we do that. Oh, there we go. That's what's up. So left click and hold to do a heavy blow. And now we're gonna challenge the crab master to a friendly showdown. Is that crab man? From my name is Earl? Yo, you've changed quite a bit in the future, dog. All right, grab master. Here comes the champion. Are you ready to bet your title against the crab master? What, what kind of gibberish is this? Come on, play along, will ya? I throw insults at you and your sword and you see something about my weapon or armor. It's the custom. Okay, hold on a minute, bud. What the hell are you doing here? 
Hey, you don't mind if I practice a bit over here, do you? I think you said I could come over whenever I wanted. I mean, sure, you were a bit drunk at the time, but... Uh, the Kravenaw Anniversary Tournament is just around the corner, and I haven't been able to find a better partner than you. I see you're itching for a fight, so yeah, let's go ahead and uh, do a little bit of training here. The Sewer Knight and the Crab Master are back in business and now prepare to suffer. So I'm the Sewer Knight, huh? Alright, so let's go. Um, we got some blocking. We could also do some dodging as well. So I like the active combat for a fact. Maybe we should aim the camera towards my boy over here, though, huh? And I believe if you hit F, you could also block or at least break their guard, if I'm correct. So, might be something you might want to be interested in. Especially if you see them blocking a lot. Boom. Boom. Roll away. Classic Dark Souls style, you know, you get your hits in there and then you swing out. You trying to taunt me or what, dude? It's over. Hey, bud. No need to turn me into mids. I must say, you still got it. Alright. Live and let live. Arthur Proud. Yeah, yeah, you best calm down, dude. Alright, anything over here for us to loot around? Not particularly. Alright, so that was fairly easy right there. Um, it takes a lot of... There's no, like, I'm not sure if there is an auto lock-on. So it does kind of make it a little bit weird when you're trying to, like, you know... Always have to, like, move your camera towards the direction you're trying to go to. That's the reason why you saw me sometimes just swinging randomly. Um, there might be an auto lock-on, but I haven't seen the tutorial or the prompt for it, so... I might have to look into the controls for that. We have uh, more TO, okay? Just a bot head. The Infobot was a gift from an eccentric friend of yours. The original model has a has made a serious upgrade, though sometimes you think it was more of a downgrade. So, had your morning drink already? Time to do a bit of shooting, my alcoholic friend. The gun and ammo are on the stand next to the shooting range. Um, yeah, I guess you some practice. You don't mind my sticking around to watch your triumph, do you? And when I say triumph, I mean disaster. Why, why is every robotic thing in every single video game a smartass, huh? Why can't they be nice? No, we gotta make them very smarmy all the time. Open locker. What do we got here? We got some cartridges, we got some simple weapon parts and some iron plates. I'll take everything. It's not exactly the gun I was looking for, though. Pick up cartridges and rifle. Oh, I see them. I see them. All right. Take the seven and the millimeter cartridges. Okay. So we should probably equip you. Don't think we need to equip you. Additional weapon, tools. Do that. Handle my reload. Alright. I'm liking this this far. I'm liking this this far. Right click and hold to aim. We got a couple of targets here. Alright, so let's shoot through here. And it does seem that if you hold the aiming, it'll kind of like focus on the shots for a better chance to hit. Gotcha. All right, bud, where are you taking me to? Fire escape? Do we have to talk, or can I just leave? <laughs> Hold up. I don't think we gotta talk anymore. Broker told me to find Hastir, who will give me a package. Yeah, we should just probably leave. You wanna tell me anything else over here? Wasting my time again? Yes, yes, I do check my built-in timer quite often, or did you think about... Okay, look. Look, dog. I need to go somewhere, okay? I ain't got time to do your robotic voice the entire time. You cannot use weapons in certain locations, okay? So this is gonna be a, a no weapon zone. Leave location, absolutely. Go on ahead. And this will be the first area, game saved. All right, let's uh, use this terminal here. I think we gotta wait for this elevator on this side. Oh, that's a dude over there too. Uh, this might be, you know what, I, I, as I mentioned, like, I got a preview build of this game a long time ago. Like, this is very familiar in a weird way to me. I think this might have been the prologue here. Might be the build that I got a long time ago, I think. Let's bring up a map here. Um, elevator to my shelter, global map, honors pharmacy. Well, I guess that would probably be it, so we could hang on left and find that location. So go up there. Oh, I already kind of beat you to it, buddy. I mean, I guess we could just go directly there, which we I do want to do, but let's take a little perusal over here so you can see some of the city. As I mentioned, like, everything's been, like, handcrafted over here, which is very, very cool. Nice lights and everything. So, you know, if you're getting, like, a Fallout vibe from this or something like that, maybe a little bit of Elix, too. I mean, Elix is more of a modern game, obviously, but, um... It's that entire Dieselpunk stuff, which is awesome. I'm a big fan of that stuff here. Alright, so the pharmacy... 
I imagine that would be it over there. E yes. And so we're supposed to look for the dude. He's not going to be at the pharmacy. He's waiting near the pharmacy. You're a getter. You're not the guy I'm looking for. Oh, dude. Dude, for a second there, I thought this was a big daddy. Mas Garon. Is there a dude in there? There's got to be a dude in there, right? Unless you're a robotic being all together. Yo, where's this dude at? Oh, look at you guys getting arrested for breaking the law. You give him a talking to, Sergeant. You dress him down for being a scumbag. If that's the guy I'm talking to... No, don't, don't let this be the guy. Illegal resident. We could talk to him, but... It's not the guy I'm looking for. It's an entrance through there. We could talk to this guy, too. He's apparently drunk out of his mind. Actually, are you? No, I think you're just handicapped. My bad, dude. My bad. I thought you were just... <laughs> holding yourself up with your rifle. This is the guy has here. A man with a gray face signals you to come closer. You hardly recognize the big, broad-shouldered guy who'd often work... With many years, so you'd have to work with many years ago. Hey, Tapu, don't tell me you don't recognize me. Don't think the world's forgotten you. Sure, it's been a while, but there's still quite a few older folks who remember the Bane of Mills. Yeah, yeah, let's get down to business. Broker said you have a container for me. Nah, I can see why they say you have a bottle for a brain. Come on, I'm just pulling your leg. How are... <laughs> pulling your leg, what a jerk. How are you feeling? Invariably poorly, though it looks like you don't have a lot of reasons to enjoy life either, judging by that trinket on your face. The container's right here, take it. Damn, this is heavy. We have a container, we'll take it. Hey, look at that, it actually shows up on you. Keep it safe, or Broker or Rippy will be jeweled head right off. <laughs> Alright, let's cut to the chase. Where am I supposed to deliver this box? Right, right, you have no idea. The waiting for the container down the maintenance hallways under the 17th sector of the perimeter. In the generator room. I'll give you the coordinates, you can't miss it. It seems as though Broker has decided to get rid of me. I agree, that place isn't a lot of fun. There's a bunch of security bots around there and you can easily bump into the military patrol. But listen, this really isn't that bad. Broker's giving out far more dangerous jobs. Um, what else, what else do you know about the assignment? Our security bots. Since when were they a problem? I'll figure it out. Fine, off you go. Use this gate. It's the shortest way. That gate, huh? Alright. Well, we got heels just in case. Leave location. Big Daddy! Don't leave without me, buddy. Okay, so maintenance tunnels where we're going, and apparently we're at the reservation. D-10-6, huh? Some fire stuff happening over there. I wish we could zoom in over here and just kind of like... get a close-up of everything that's happening around. Uh, maintenance tunnels confirm. Okay, so here we are. Tunnels. Game has been saved. Good. Thank you. I might perish really quickly in the tutorial. Uh -huh. <laughs> that was gonna hurt me. You know, it's like, you know, hot steam. Just saying. Repair kid. Disassemble. Alright. Simple parts. Alright, cool. Take those. That's fine. So I guess now we get to the looting as well. Which is my... Oh. Oh. Okay, that was kind of eerie. Some sort of weird gravitational pull happening there. How about you, my friend, repair kid? I was like, you're fine. Your bro was broken, so I took stuff off of him. Is that a crate over here? Oh, it is. Container. Energy supply. Okay. So I guess we just go down... Crouch to sneak past enemies. Oh, we should probably crouch. Is there a map for this area? Oh, no map for this location, huh? Of course not. Oh. Okay, so Big Daddy can't be a problem. Okay, we should probably just hang out over here. Yeah, I don't think I want to piss off that monstrosity, man. Is that the security bot they talked about? Because, dude, how is that not a problem? Let's continue sneaking for now. Are we good? We good. I don't think homeboy can see me. We're fine. The dangerous pass, you can get up now. Thank you. Alrighty, so we're pa past Big Daddy. The dangerous pass. Yeah, you could exit from the menu or the screen thing. Repair kid. Repair kid. We have Rava. Well, I mean, I'm not here to talk to Rava right now. I need to get to the generating plant where a certain Commissar Farka will be waiting for me. It'll be past curfew. The tunnels are packed with security bots. Yeah. So we're looking for a Farka. <gasps> oh, dude, my bad. No, 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 no. Oh, dude. <laughs> I, I didn't know you could... No, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That's to break blocks in case you're wondering. I'm sorry. I, I hit F when I meant E. You, can you talk to me? I'm sorry, dude. Don't, don't be mad. I hope you're not a quest NPC. Dude, I could have done worse. Oh god. 
Yeah, I don't think we can talk to him anymore. <laughs> hey, man, it's a prologue. This isn't even the, the character you'll be playing as. What's the worst that could possibly happen, right? Uh, we have a saw. Take that, too. Alrighty. Well, I guess it's... This guy is just scared of me now. Look at him. <laughs> don't do it. And for now, let's continue. Oh, what is that? Game has been saved again. Is that thing moving towards me? Oh, it totally is. Moving back now, kind of. What you doing? Wonder if I could shoot that. It almost seems like the game wants me to shoot that, you know? Barrels next to this little patrol. Oh, <laughs> yes! That's exactly what the game wanted me to do. Okay, good. Thanks for letting me know. Let's handle a reload here. Yo, can I get into this body, though? Like, you seem to be in a situation... Yeah, I, I still can. Oh, 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 we gotta move. There it is. Assemble the security bond. Oh, no, I can't! Oh, man, that's a... Come on. Can't do it. <laughs> He's beyond my level of action field. That's a shame. Well, it was worth it, though. We did blow up that guy. There's another barrel over there, too, it does seem. And another security bond. So, more than likely... We'll take this one out, too. Much in the same fashion. Is he near that? Yeah, he should be near that. Boom! Can you fall? Ah, uh, you fell on the other side of the guard railing, you ding. Dong. It's a delayed ding dong right there, in case you were wondering. Security bot, okay, so... Is this homeboy gonna spot me? I don't see anything around that I could blow up on this guy, so we might just have to take some pot shots on this dude here. I will try to creep up. Oh, he's coming up forward, boys. Okay, he's turned back now. Nailed it! Get your reload. Is that all the ammo we got? Seven more shots? Oh. Oh, I might be able to get into you still. Yeah, okay. So luckily, we can't check these guys out. You have energy supply. I will grab that. And... Disassemble you. How far is this Farkas guy from here? Another energy supply. We're getting a lot of these. What are these even for? Standard batteries for high capacity energy weapons. Ah, so if we get energy weapons, we use it as ammunition for it. That makes perfect sense. The jet of hot gas will kill you. Find a way to turn it off. You mean with this valve over here? The level of puzzle solving over here is just way too advanced for me. I'm not sure if I could kind of figure this one out. Alright. There is a getter here. I guess homeboy burned. I mean... I don't think it's a good idea to just walk through fire, dude. Okay. I'm trying to keep my eye out for any loot, and also for any sort of baddies that I might be able to ambush. Because I'm all about that ambushing, man. I'm a coward. <laughs> I don't fight you head on. I will sneak up and shoot you from afar. You don't... You don't need to destroy the tr Okay, I I'm not trying to, but... <laughs> It's actively trying to kill me. Okay, well. Got through. Got through. Maybe we gotta go through here. Control. Hack the terminal. Find pairs of identical keys. Open them by left clicking on the mouse. Okay. Oh, I see. Deco, that was that. I had no idea what the hell I meant the first time around. <laughs> I was like, how am I supposed to, like, you know, figure out what matches over here? So the hacking game's a bit different. I like it, though. But the hacking game? The hacking system's a bit different than what I'm accustomed to, but I like it. Alright, so we opened up this path over here. What for? I don't know. But we got some more junk over here in my looting prowess. Says you must pick this up. What is this? Is a, a speaker. Oh, well, there's a limitation how much we can carry, but right now I'm just taking everything because I damn well can. And I don't know what's really important and what's not. What are you supposed to be? Nothing at all. Alright. I'm loving the um, world design though thus far. This is very, very cool. Is that Farkas? I hope that's Farkas. Open this container. We got ourselves the Creamwa liquor. Ashtray and some spirits. 
Well, I think I know what the spirits are for. We're about to get drunk here after this. Oh, you guys beating that dude up? You just kicked him up. That was like a cartoon. Like, he basically kicked his feet and he just like... <laughs> what? <laughs> what? What just happened to that guy? He just crumbled over. <laughs> Somebody check that guy, dude. He, he, he fell down in a way that a human should not fall down normally, man. This is Farka. Okay, you guys killed him. He was alive momentarily, but he's dead now. These guys are dangerous, man. You see a customs common circle surrounded by bodyguards with the Darkala vision Xenia. So is this where we say our passwords, or is this guy taking a nap? Looks like keeping this a secret isn't a big priority for you. <laughs> no, I don't think he's taking a nap. Cut the small talk. Do you have the container? Here, take it. Keep in mind that you've made a lot of noise. The patrols are already searching the tunnels. You cannot leave the way you came in. So you have to go through the air shaft. It's under maintenance right now. Okay. Where is this mine? Once you pass through the second door, go straight ahead. You'll find your way from there. Go get a move on. Once I pass through the second door, go straight ahead. Alright. Well, you know, I had to kill some dudes to kind of make my way over here. You guys not going to really check on this dude? Like, okay, well. I guess any of my business. Through the second door. Well, there's an opening through here, so I guess we'll check that out. And what do we got here? More iron plates. Okay. Very good. Are we out of time? Oh, man, we got a time. Alright, guys. Well, I'm going to start wrapping it up here. This is, um... Insomnia the Ark. Thus far, I'm really... Oh, dude, I could pistol whip dudes? Yeah, well, actually, it's more of a rifle whipping dudes around. Um, I'm really enjoying it thus far. All the information for the game will be down below because you want to check this out for yourself. And hopefully this video helped you out and give you an idea what the game's about. I will catch you next time.